What's going on everybody? So today for clean older cars, we got my 2003 Toyota Highlander. It sits right now with 174,000 miles. 2.4 four cylinder coupled with a four speed automatic. Two wheel drive, but it still holds its own in the snow. And here's a story. So one year I was in Pollock Pines, there was snow all over the road and I was behind this Tundra who was sliding all over the place. He ended up pulling to the side and this thing was able to pass him no problem. It'll struggle a little bit when the snow starts getting really thick, but outside of that, yeah, probably the best snow car ever. So a quick story of how I got it. I was actually trying a new business adventure at the time buying storage units at auction. So I was actually looking at pickup trucks. I test drove a Chevy Silverado that broke down on the test drive. A Ford Ranger, it ran, but the air conditioning didn't work. Tacomas and Tundras, I mean, the way they hold their value, you're better off just getting them new. My uh, girlfriend at the time was like, why don't you try an SUV? And that's how I got this. It's been about six years, and in that time, I've only done a valve cover gasket. Passenger window regulator stopped working once. I think that part was about 100 bucks at AutoZone, if I remember right. No big deal. The tail light failure problem that these are famous for. It does have a slight drinking problem, but after that, maintenance. I would honestly think nothing of taking this 19-year-old vehicle out of town right now. See, you don't need a new vehicle every year if you just take care of the ones you have. I've seen plenty of Highlanders come in with 300,000 miles just there for an oil change. And don't forget... New videos every Sunday. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will see you guys next week.